Hey, Leslie, that's an interesting question. I think you're the very first person to ever ask this. What about subcutaneous NAD administration. If you could get it into the body through, like, for example, a shot, uh, would that actually be better than taking it as a supplement and going through the normal digestion route? So I don't think so, and here's why. And but before I go any further, I have a master's in exercise science and an undergraduate in chemistry and biology, and I've been investigating the research on dietary supplements for over 30 years, and I'm unbiased. I don't work for anybody. So here's my thoughts on this. The thing about NAD is even if you could get it into the blood, which you could do by, again, ostensibly by doing, uh, like you're suggesting, uh, subcutaneously, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get into the cells of the body. Number one, NAD appears to have a very short half-life. It doesn't stick around very long and is click, quickly cleared from the body. Number two, it doesn't penetrate the cells of our body very well. I see no conclusive evidence that we can get NAD into the cells where it, where it really does work. And because, and again, I haven't seen a carrier protein of this. So I don't know how you could get it into the cells. And that, I think, is the key thing that all the sellers of NAD supplements run from. They don't want to talk about it. They run from it like Dracula runs away from sunlight and garlic. The thing is, we don't appear to be able to significantly raise NAD in cells by taking the NAD molecule. The vast majority of research on boosting NAD is with supplements, precursors of NAD, including NMN and NR, nicotinamide riboside. And I have videos on them if you want to see those research, that research here. I have it here and on my YouTube channel as well, but you can see what actually happened when people took these things. So I don't think taking it subcutaneously will make a significant dent in this. However, if you want to raise your cellular NAD levels, here's the other thing that nobody likes to talk about. It is the very best way to raise NAD in your cells, and that is exercise. There is a lot of research that shows that exercise, physical activity, strength training, aerobic exercise, walking, biking, hiking, etc., will increase NAD in the cells. And not only that, it'll make you bigger, stronger, faster, help you live longer, reduce your, qual- your, reduce, reduce your risk of disease, and it'll make your mitochondria bigger and healthier, and you'll just have a better quality of life. So that's what I would suggest you do, and I, I hope this helped Leslie.